Hi friends, I am before you with a new video. Now, those of you who have taken admission in first first semester of diploma in any branch, any technical branch, for you we have I have completed all the the entire syllabus of trigonometry. You, your syllabus comprises allied angles, compound angles, and uh, transformation formula. This is basically what you will get, and from this you will get at least 45 to 40, 45, 47 marks. Somewhere around that you will get from trigonometry what I have done. Now I am doing one more chapter that is not there for those who have taken admission from. Uh, due, uh, in 15 or later than 15 but only for those who are earlier that is on <coughs> what we call solution of triangles solution of triangles only those who were taken admission prior to <coughs> Two thousand fifteen for them. Those who are writing nine, SC uh, nine SC zero one M maths paper. Only those students way of diploma will have this this chapter called solution of triangle. You know <coughs> that a triangle is a plane figure bounded by three sides is called as a triangle generally we write them as a b c a b c now the length of this side b c is opposite to a that is denoted by small a it is represented by small a this side the length of this side is small b and the length of this side is represented by small c. The letters A, B, C stand for that. Now, in a triangle, there are three sides. Sides means this A, B, B, C, C, A. These are the three sides of the triangle. And there are three angles. Angle A, angle B, angle C. You know the sum of these three angles in any triangle will be 180 degrees. <coughs> right? A triangle may be acute angle triangle or obtuse angle triangle or a right angle triangle whatever it is now <coughs> they normally you will get a problem in solution of triangles wherein three quantities will be given any three quantities will be given and we will have to find out the other three remaining three there are totally six quantities three sides and three angles are there out of these six they will give you three quantities and ask you to find the remaining three quantities that is called as solution of a triangle. Now to solve a triangle, to solve a triangle that is to find the unknown quantities, we have two rules. One is called the sign rule and these rules can be proved, geometrically proved. We can prove them. It states that sin a by small a is equal to sin b by small b is equal to sin c divided by c. This is called as sin rule. They can be written as a by sin a is equal to b by sin a, b is equal to c by sin c also you can write it. This rule is called as the sin rule. Then there is cos rule or cosine rule it is also called this <coughs> this cosine rule or cos rule uh, <coughs> goes like this cos a cos of angle a is equal to b square plus c square minus a square divided by 2bc 2bc similarly cos b cos of angle B is equal to 
c square plus k square minus b square divided by 2c a and cos c is equal to c square plus b square I'm sorry a square plus b square minus c square divided by 2ab so these are these three are called cosine rules there are three angles for three angles there are three. these relationships can be mathematically proved geometrically proved if you this can be proved like this if you try a uh, what uh, perpendicular to this then this becomes a right angle triangle this becomes a right angle triangle so sine of b will be equal to <coughs> c by this sine of c will be equal to this by that so if you equate them you will get these relationships right uh, if you this ad will be common if you cancel that you will get that rule so that can be math, uh, geometrically proved even these formula can be proved geometrically now you will get one problem on this we will try to solve some problems this formula you have to remember now i'll take up some problems from the old question papers 9 sc 01 m april May 2018 there are two problems one for two marks and the other one for five marks in section a one problem is there well problem number 12 in triangle abc if a is equal to 2 b is equal to 120 degree and c is equal to 30 degree c is equal to 30 degree solve the triangle solve the triangle that's the formula that's the problem for two marks now <coughs> this is given a is given angle b is given angle c is given these three we will have to find out these three we will have to find out now first angle a will be equal to 180 minus total of b plus c that is because the sum of the three angles of a triangle you know is 180 degree always so this will be 180 minus 120 plus 30 so it works out to 30 degrees angle a is 30 degrees so c and a are same that is it's a uh, isosceles triangle now next we know a so a uh, we know sine b by small b is equal to sine a by small a. Now a is given. We know angle A. We know angle B. So if we what we don't know is B. So B into sin A if you cross multiply is equal to A into sin B. So B will be equal to A sin B divided by B. So, A is 2 sine of B, B is 120 degree divided by, sorry, this is sine A, sine A, sine A that is sine of 30 degrees. Now, 2 into sine 120 means uh, sine 120 is sine same as sine 60 sine 60 is root 3 by 2 divided by sine 30 is half 
So this two, this two gets cancelled. So two into root three. This two will go up. Two into root three. That is the value of v. You can leave at that. Next, c to find out side c. Side c will be equal to <coughs> same as a because sine a by a is equal to sine c by c. So therefore, c will be equal to a into sine c divided by sine a. Now a is 2 into sine c sine of 30 degree. a is also 30 degree. So sine of 30 degree these two get cancelled. So it will be 2. So the length of side c will be same as length of side a because those two angles are equal. Two sides opposite to them also will be equal. So this is the problem for two marks. <laughs> Next in the same paper we have a problem <coughs> in section C for five marks. Section C problem number 34 for five marks. Solve the triangle ABC given A is 5 B is 5 root 3 and C is 5. So they have given all the three sides. A, B, C are given. We have to find the three angles. Now here we will have to use cosine rule only because we don't know any of the triangles, any of the angles. So cos A from here you can get A is what uh, cos A is B square plus C square minus A square divided by 2BC. So substitute here B square 5 root 3 square plus C square is 5 square minus A square that is also 5 square divided by 2 into 5 root 3 5 root 3 into 5 C is 5 so cos A will be equal to this can be cancelled 5 root 3 25 into 3 <coughs> square of 5 is 25 square of root 3 is 3 divided by 5 5 is that 50 root 3 25 1 is 25 2 is this 3 can be written as root 3 into root 3 so it will go 1 root 3 will go so you are getting root 3 by 2 as the answer cos A is equal to root 3 by 2 so A will be equal to cos inverse of root 3 by 2 that is 30 degrees you know cos 30 is root 3 by 2 so we are getting cos a as 3 root 3 by 2 so a will be cos of uh, cos inverse if you write like this it is inverse cos inverse of root 3 by 2 that is 30 degree so we are getting we have got this as 30 degree this angle we got next let us find out b so for that we have to use the formula cos b is equal to cos b is equal to c square plus a square minus b square divided by 2ca so c square that is 5 square plus a square again 5 square minus 5 root 3 the whole square divided by 2 into c is 5 this is also 5 5 square 25 plus 25 
प्लस सॉरी माइनस सेवेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू थ्री सेवेंटी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव इंटू फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव फिफ्टी सो फिफ्टी माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई फिफ्टी सो वन जा टू जा माइनस हाफ माइनस हाफ कॉस बी इज गॉट एज माइनस हाफ मीन्स सॉरी माइनस हाफ कॉस बी इज माइनस हाफ सो देर फोर बी इज कॉस इनवर्स ऑफ माइनस हाफ नाउ दैट मीन्स इट इज इन सेकेंड क्वार कॉज इज इनवर्स दैट मीन्स इट्स एन अपट्यूज एंगल सो कॉस इनवर्स ऑफ माइनस हाफ मीन्स कॉस वन एटी माइनस थर्टी वन एटी माइनस सिक्सटी सो इट विल बी वन ट्वेंटी डिग्रीज वन ट्वेंटी डिग्रीज कॉस बी नाउ वंस यू गेट ए एंड बी सी विल बी इक्वल टू वन एटी माइनस ए प्लस बी सो वन एटी माइनस ये इज थर्टी Thirty degree plus this is one twenty that is one fifty one eighty minus one fifty is thirty degree. It's an again isosceles triangle. Two sides are equal. A and C are equal, so the angles uh, A and C will be same. A is also thirty degree. C is also thirty. So that carries five marks. Next November December two thousand seventeen. November December two thousand seventeen. Uh, section A he says eleventh problem. Write the cosine rule. That is you have to write cos rule. Uh, then in section C problem number thirty four. You have solve triangle ABC. If A is equal to Small a is equal to two. B is equal to root six. B is equal to root six, and C is equal to root three minus one. This root is only for three. And now, <coughs> again here. All all three sides are given. We have to use only cosine rule. We can't use use sine rule. Cosine rule. So cos a is b square plus c square minus a square divided by two b c. Make the substitution. B square <coughs> root six the whole square plus c square root three. Minus one, the whole square. Minus a square, that is two square, divided by two into b is root six into root three minus one. C is root three minus. So cos a will be equal to simplify. Root six square means six. Plus here we have to use a minus b the whole square formula. So plus a square root three square root three square plus b square that is one square b is one square minus two a b minus two into root three into one minus two square that is four. Divided by, keep this as it is. Two root six into root three minus one. So now, this is six plus this is three plus.
प्लस वन माइनस टू रूट थ्री माइनस फोर डिवाइडेड बाय टू रूट सिक्स इनटू रूट थ्री माइनस वन सिक्स प्लस थ्री इस नाइन नाइन प्लस वन इस टेन टेन माइनस फोर इस सिक्स सिक्स माइनस टू रूट थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय टू रूट सिक्स इनटू रूट थ्री माइनस वन now <coughs> here i can take out 2 root 3 as common factor see this 6 is 2 into 3 2 into 3 so 2 into this 3 can be written as root 3 into root 3 so 2 root 3 is here 2 root 3 is also there if i remove it Here, <coughs> what I will be left is root three minus one divided by two root six into root three minus one. Sorry. Yes. Now these two, these two gets cancelled. Root three minus one, root three minus one gets gets cancelled. Now I am left with root three by root six. Now this can be root six will be root three by root three into root two. So root three root two will go. Now so this is one time. So cos a I am getting as one by root two. Cos a is one by root two. So therefore, a will be cos inverse of one by root two. See when uh, the angle is forty-five degree, cos forty-five degree is one by root two. So cos inverse of one by root two will be forty-five degree. That is, angle A will be forty-five degree. Angle A is forty-five degree. Next. Let us find out angle B. Angle B will be given by the formula cos of B You can now use even you can use sine formula. You can use the formula. We can use the formula. Uh, sine b by b is equal to sine a by a. So <coughs> sine b. Will be equal to b into sine a divided by small a. B is root six into sine of forty five degree divided by a is two. Now this will be root six into one by root two. Cos forty five is also one by root two. Sine forty five is also one by root two divided by two. So this one time, this root three times because root six is root two into three. So sine b will be equal to root three by two. So b will be equal to sine inverse of root three by two. That is sixty degrees. Angle B will be sixty degrees. Sine sixty is root three by two. So sine inverse of root three by two will be equal to sixty degrees. Next, we have to find angle C. Angle C will be equal to. We know two angles. The third angle C will be equal to one eighty degree minus A plus B. That is one eighty minus forty five plus sixty 
so this will be uh, 180 minus 105 so this will be 70 centimeters so these are the three angles they have given three sides and we have found out three angles right November December 2016 November December 2016 we'll do some more problems November December 2016 uh, section C again for 5 marks problem number 31 solve triangle ABC given angle A is 60 degrees a is 60, B is root 6 and C is 2. They have given two sides but we don't know A. So we cannot use this angle. With angle A we know but we don't know side A. So you can't use this sign rule. You have to use cos rule only you know cos a is equal to b square plus c square minus a square divided by 2bc so 2bc into cos a will be equal to b square plus c square minus a square. If I take this a square this side, a square will be equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc into cos a. So b square root 6 the whole square plus c square that is 2 square minus 2 into root 6 into 2 into cos 60 degree so this will be 6 plus 2 square is 4 minus 4 root 6 into cos 60 is half so 1 2 so 10 minus 2 root 6 this is a square so a will be square root of 10 minus 2 root 6 now this here we will have to use the thirds you know to find the root of this we will have to use the thirds uh, now that is root of 10 minus 2 root 6 let it be equal to root x minus root y squaring both sides 10 minus root 2 root 6 will be equal to x plus y minus 2 root x y so x plus y is equal to 10 and uh, x y will be equal to 6 x y will be equal to 6 then x minus y will be equal to x plus y the whole square minus uh, 4x y 4x y x minus y the whole square will be that much that is 10 square minus 4 into 6 100 minus 24 this will be 76 so x minus y will be root of 76 which is not a perfect square so you will get some imaginary numbers there x minus 1 is equal to root 76 now x plus y is 10 x minus y is root 76 so x, x plus y is 10, x minus y is 
रूट सेवेंटी सिक्स टू थ्री से सिक्स रूट सेवेंटी सिक्स सो टू एक्स इस विल गो एडिंग टेन प्लस रूट सेवेंटी सिक्स सो एक्स विल बी टेन प्लस रूट सेवेंटी सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय टू सो रूट ऑफ दैट टू रूट नाइनटीन There appears to be some problem here. Ten. Oh, difference six. Cos sixty cos sixty zero. Six ten minus two root six. There appears to be some mistake there. Some problem in that problem. Then. After you get a, there is some value. Some value may be uh, there. May be some problem appears to be some problem. You are getting imaginary roots there. Now, uh, after getting a, if you get side a, then you can get b or c. And then you can get the other angle also. I think this problem, some problem is there in that. Next, uh, solve triangle. It is November, December two thousand fifteen. Two thousand fifteen. Section A, two marks. Question number nine. Question number nine. He says, in triangle ABC, if angle A is thirty, A is thirty degree, B is ninety degree, ninety degree, small A is two centimeters. Find B. Find B is yes. That's very simple. 